this is a TS TS3 question number 64 um, see in this question it is it, it's this first of all this property is given f of x1 equals to f of x2 equals to f of x3 equal to 0 and fx is a quadratic polynomial now if fx is a quadratic polynomial you can see it can intersect x axis in two points you know graph is a parabola and parabola can intersect x axis in two points right so uh, and but it is given that this fx is 0 means it crosses x axis at x1 x2 and x3 so uh, it means how is it possible it is not possible so it means that like um, uh, this fx equal to 0 the only way it is possible is fx is 0 for all x belongs to r right that is f of x1 uh, uh, it means that a equal to b equal to c equal to 0 right so it has like it is 0 for all values of x now using this property right using this property we have to uh, like uh, mm. see in this question it is given that gx is mm, uh, gx is x minus x2 into x minus x3 divided by x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 and this is an x1 outside plus x2 x minus x3 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 and there is a third term x3 x minus x1 into x minus x2 x3 minus x1 over x3 minus x2 now you can see if I multiply all terms it is uh, again a quadratic expression in x right now um, if, if uh, let's take another function hx which is gx minus x now if I replace x equal to x1 then it is g of x1 minus x1 now g of x1 let, let's check what is g of x1 if we replace x equal to x1 here now this becomes uh, you can see x1 minus x1 this is also x1 minus x1 so this whole expression is become 0 when I replace x by x1 and in this case if I replace x by x1 x by x1 you can see x1 minus x2 cancels out with x1 minus x2 right so this cancels out with this and this cancels out with this so the only leftover part is x1 so g of x1 is x1 x1 minus x1 is 0 now you can see that hx hx1 is a function which is again a quadratic polynomial uh, which uh, uh, um, you can see is zero for x equals to x one. Now similarly by symmetry you can you can check it yourself that h of x two will also be zero and h of x three will also be zero. Now quadratic polynomial is again intersecting x axis in three points because it is zero means intersection with x axis at x one, x two, and x three. That is a t that is not possible for a quadratic polynomial which can have only maximum two points of intersection with x axis so it is possible only when h x is 0 for all values of x for all x belongs to r right that is h x equal to g x minus x equal to 0 for all x belongs to r or we can say g x equals to x for all x belongs to r and that is means the correct choice is uh, c choice